Hello everyone and welcome to Animal Kingdom. Uh, for Earth Month, which starts in April, Disney released a, a bunch of new food items here at the Animal Kingdom. And so we decided to come to the park today, see if we could find a couple and have a nice little day at Animal Kingdom. So come with us and let's hang out at Animal Kingdom today. Oh, right here. Hey, And so far it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit overcast. The high is about 82 degrees. There was a little breeze blowing in when I was walking into the park. Let's hope it stays like this all day. It's so nice right now. On the app it said that the uh, Navi River journey was only a 35 minute wait. So uh, I never really ride that one because the line is always pretty long and the ride's kind of short. But if it's only 30 minutes, we'll go jump in line. So let's see if it actually is only 35 minutes when we get up there and uh, we'll go ride the uh, Navi River Journey. Okay, well it does say it's 35 minutes. So we will uh, test that out. I've got my timer set and we'll see. Something to sound. way to start the day uh, Navi River journey it's kind of weird there's not really like a story or anything I think you're just supposed to be like kind of wonderstruck by the uh, ambiance and everything it's uh it's cool but uh, the line now it, it said it was 35 when I got in line it took about 50 and it's up to 85 right now I would not wait 85 minutes for it but uh, but it was fun you know for for waiting only a short amount of time uh, but anyway, now let's go see if we can find our first little uh, thing for Earth Day. I've got an idea about what I want to do, um, but I'll wait until I can actually do it to show you what it is. So let's make our way over there. Okay, so I was actually able to get a walk of preservation for Tusker House, and uh, that's kind of where I want to start with the Earth Day stuff. They've got a, a couple of things in there in celebration of that. But the trick is, the changeover from breakfast to lunch is between 10.30 and 11. So I'm trying to get a little bit of breakfast and a little bit of lunch in there. So we'll see if it pays off. Uh, my table is ready. Changeover is in about 10 minutes. So we'll see if I'm actually able to get seated and catch a little breakfast before they switch over to the lunch menu. pastry bar there, everything there looks really good. Some salads, we got some uh, smoked salmon, and some tomatoes for your bagels, boiled eggs, overnight oats, so a couple of the breakfast things still out, yogurt, fruit, and then we got a carrot and chickpea salad, black eyed pea salad, watermelon feta salad, all that looks really good. It's like an empty stand over here getting ready for something coming up. Got some jasmine rice, some Cape Male Chicken Curry, which looks really delicious. Might have to get some of that. Banana bread pudding. Uh, I will definitely be back for some of that. Free spiced roasted tomatoes, feisty green beans, tater tots, impossible bo bodhi with chakalaka. I don't know. That's a new one on me. 
but we'll definitely give it a shot. And definitely we'll be trying the shakshuka. I love shakshuka. I'm gonna grab one of those right now. It's got an egg on it, so it's kind of, you know, breakfasty, right? And a vegetable frittata here. All right, so for breakfast, looks like just kind of normal breakfast fare. So I'm gonna get a little waffle, a little bit of this, uh, let's see. What is this? Lollipop? I don't know. I'll try a little bit of this. And a little bit of bacon. Got some meats over here. I'm gonna do a little bit of this sausage right here. This looks good. And that might be it for breakfast. I'm gonna take it through the rest of it though. Let's see what else they have over here. It looks like they have started putting out some of the lunch items on this side over here. So we'll be right back to take advantage of this. Oh, there's more pancakes over here, tater tots, more sausage, bacon, here's all the salads. We'll come back in just a second and look at all this once we have our breakfast. And it's crazy in here. People are running back and forth. Gotta keep your head on a swivel. I'm interested in what this like molly pop stuff is. It looks kind of like cheese grits. We'll give it a shot. And it is, it's really, really sweet actually. Uh, definitely like corn based, but it's got some like herbs in there too. That's really good. I like that a lot. Not quite sure what it is, but I'm into it. Donald, how's it going? I'm loving the outfit. I love it. You're ready for the safari over there, aren't you? Looking good. Yeah, you gotta look for all the, the animals, huh? Of course you do, yeah. You making any friends out there today? Of course, of course. Oh, the elephants, the elephants. Those are my favorite too. I love them, I love them, yeah. Hey, do you mind if we get a picture? Awesome. Of course, one of the best things about the breakfast buffets here at Disney is bog juice. So good. Hopefully it carries through to lunch because I could drink that all day. So I did get some of the bobodi with a choco flocka. Uh, it kind of looks like um, almost like a bread pudding, but there's like potatoes and tomatoes and stuff in there. So let me see what this is. Here we go. Okay. Really get those African like Moroccan spices. That really like um, smoky, salty, flavorful. It's really good. It's got a little curry in it also. Which is uh, interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good. It kind of it has like the the texture of a bread pudding, but savory through and through. It's good. Hi Daisy, how's it going? Looking great as always. I love your outfit, and I love even more that you're still wearing heels. No need to sacrifice fashion. I love it. Looking good. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's good to see you, Daisy. Thank you for stopping by. Bye. Okay, breakfast is done. At least my plate is done. Let's go see what they have for lunch. Okay, so the changeover has officially happened. Now we've got corn muffins, zebra bread, hummus, some other rolls, turkey, ham, grapes, where the bagel stuff was. A little bit different salad. I, uh, look at this salad over here. This is so beautiful. I had to get some of that. Tomatoes and oranges in there. Cucumbers, looks so good. Kachumbari. That's what that's called, I guess. We've got some uh, chickpea salad and uh, black eyed peas salad. Over on this side, we've got a little bit of uh, Tusker Market mashed potatoes. Those look good. Zatar braised beef, we'll definitely be getting that. Some similar stuff as the breakfast. Uh, bun cauliflower bunny chow. Looks good. Green beans. Collard greens, definitely gonna get some collard greens, rice, African malva bread pudding with blueberry and banana. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing some of that too. Look at all the chicken they have on the grill back there. That's awesome. And we've got some down here. Tandoori spice rub rotisserie chicken. We'll definitely be getting that too. Tremula sample, that looks good. Got these little brownies here. Looks so good. And these are the special kind of Earth Day things. These mini bumblebee cupcakes. But all these little treats look so awesome. Look at the ones with the little butterflies in them. How pretty are those? 
and then of course fresh fruit. There goes Goofy almost knocking his head on the uh, truss there. <laughs> Here's the spread for lunch. Everything looks so good. I'm really excited about this salad here. That looks so good. First off, I'm gonna get some of this uh, tandoori spice chicken here. That's really good. It's so flavorful and tender. And because they just switched over, it's super fresh. Really, really good. Let's get into some of this uh, Zatar braised beef here. I love Zatar spices. I use it at home on occasion. So I'm excited for this also. That might be the best like braised beef I've had on Disney property. That is so good. The spices are again really smoky and earthy and delicious. That beef though is like fall apart in your mouth, super tender and juicy. That's really good. That's awesome. Now, let's try a little bit of the salad. Cucumber, tomato salad. And we get one of these tomatoes. A little bit of citrus in there, mint. Really good, just lightly flavored olive oil. That's really good too, really fresh and complements like the, the bold spices and flavors of these other dishes. Really, really good fruit here at Tusker House. I'm enjoying my meal a lot. And a little bit of a hack. We came in on the crossover between breakfast and lunch. So we get the best of both worlds, right? We get some of the breakfast food and some of the lunch food. It's a win-win. There's Mickey Mouse, just the guy I wanted to see. How are you today? Doing fantastic. Thank you so much. It's good to see you here. Lunch was excellent. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Mind if we grab a quick picture? Mind if we grab a quick picture? Yeah, okay. For a little selection of desserts here, we got a layered African cookie bar, a pineapple tart, and the little baby uh, honeybee cupcakes here. And everything looks so good. First off, I'm gonna start with this uh, layered cookie bar here. It's exactly what I expected. Sweet, but it's got the oatiness in there also that's really good. Kind of breaks it up a little bit, gives it some texture. Next I want to try this pineapple tart. I'm thinking this might be my favorite of all of them. So, I was expecting more of like a lemon curd, and there's not a whole lot of pineapple flavor in there. I feel like the, the inside kind of gets overwhelmed by the crust itself. The crust is pretty thick. It does have a pineapple flavor, but not a ton. It's good though. Now we'll get into this chocolate cupcake. That's good too, really sweet, really moist. The frosting is good, but I love that they're just very tiny cupcakes. So it's like a two bite cupcake and that's, that's really all you need. Pretty good dessert here too, but I think actually the cookie bar might be my favorite of the desserts. So I just came out of Tusker House for our little breakfast lunch combo. And I was thinking like, oh, we're making good time today. It's not even noon and we've had like lunch and uh, got on a ride and I come out. The entrance to Tusker House is here. The entrance to Kilimanjaro Safaros is way down there. But the line, yeah, all of this, all of these people right here are in line for the safaris. There's the, the person holding the line, the end of the line sign, all the way down here to the entrance of Tusker House. Ooh, glad I'm not getting on, the, on that right now. But I will say our little uh, breakfast and lunch kind of combination buffet there at Tuck Tusker House actually worked out pretty well that we were able to get both. And it was really, really good. Uh, you know, I think that in terms of like uh, eating there for a family, I would be a little bit careful because the food is definitely different than like your normal buffet. Everything there is, uh, the recipes are pretty, pretty bold flavors, pretty unique flavors. And if you're not into like African or um, 
you know, that kind of cuisine. It might be a little bit harder to find something for everybody there to enjoy, but I like it. I thought it was great. And uh, I urge you to give it a try. If it's a little bit outside of your comfort zone, you know, they do have a lot of different stuff there, but uh, everything is uh, pretty, pretty unique. So it's good, but uh, definitely something to consider. I typically like to wait for everybody else to just kind of walk down the trail because it is, it is such a nice peaceful trail when there's not a lot of people on it and uh, so yeah I just kind of give everybody a second to clear out from the station over there then I can take my time stroll down to the uh, conservation station and I've pointed this out before but I love these little like uh, signs here that show you how to create like a backyard habitat for wildlife birds butterflies bees stuff like that it's really cool An artist out here drawing Mickey Mouse. How cool is this? So we're gonna do the animation experience here. It looks like they're drawing like Fox from Fox and the Hound or something like that. So we're gonna get our paper and our pencil. We're gonna go in, do a little sketching.
so I just finished the animation experience and uh, look, I mean I didn't do too bad. You better watch out because next time you see me I might be uh, animating Disney's next uh, big blockbuster. Never know, never know. <laughs> Over in the petting zoo, I do like that they have a little area for the goats to come and relax where people aren't supposed to go in there and bother them. They got a little like playground that you'd see at like an elementary school or something. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of goats out over there. So let's we'll see if we can pet one. If not, that's fine. There looks like they're getting ready to have lunch. So they might not want anything to do with me right now. because they have similar things that they like to eat and a similar um, look to their face. But they're actually a different animal, but also starts with the letter A. Aardvark. Aardvark, oh, I heard it, yeah, he's an aardvark. Uh, so Willie here is about uh, 10 years old, uh, and he's been with us for quite some time. So I've heard even if there's fires out there, that a lot of animals can take to underneath the ground and hide in those burrows and be protected from the fire. So they actually helps out a lot of other animals just by making those holes there. Uh, so I did mention that he likes to eat. <laughs> You guys already know that when Flame Tree Barbecue comes out with a new cupcake, I have to get it. And this one, it is amazing looking. It's uh, for Earth Day or Earth Month, I guess, in April. Uh, Disney came out with the Flamingo Cupcake at Flame Tree Barbecue. It's a strawberry cake with strawberry compote filling, lava buttercream, and then it's got the sugar pearls on it. And look at how awesome this thing looks. I love the way it looks. Like looks just like a flamingo. It's got the wings, a face on there, but sad to say we gotta cut it open to get into it and try this cupcake here. That might be the best one yet. I like the fruitiness of it. It's um lighter, I think, than a lot of the other ones that have like the chocolate flavor in it. This one is really, really good and it's perfect on this hot day. And I also got the Bubbling Pink Lagoon. It is a strawberry lemonade with Sprite and kiwi flavor. Ooh, that's good. I like the combination of the lemonade and the Sprite. Gives it a little zing. I like that a lot too, but I'm gonna work on this cupcake here. These cupcakes are so good, but I feel like after the first bite or two, they turn into an absolute disaster. They're so big that they just kind of like fall apart. You can see I've got a little flamingo head here on the side of my plate. <laughs> Still tastes good. That 
is going to do it for us today here from uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Thank you so much for coming along and hanging out today. We had a great day. Got to go to Tusker House for the first time and kind of hacked the system a little bit. Did a little breakfast and lunch there. Then we went over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, did the little animation class. That was really fun. And uh, then finished off with a little cupcake from Flame Tree. So yeah, thanks for coming along. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. My name's Travis. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Everybody say one to play in my face We won't play to love, we never dream to get tired Taking our diet, discovery, stop it